Oh. Hello YouTube, it's Little H here, and welcome back to our fusion plant build. Um, I haven't, again, I haven't had a lot of time to work on this, um, and it's probably going to continue to be the, the thing, so I'm probably going to end up starting up uh, the Electric Craft tutorial series pretty soon, so we're getting into that, but in this episode, um, we're going to do a little bit of wiring, because uh, I've been thinking about how to wire up these, I don't need that in my inventory, why do I have that? Yeah, this pack was just updated as well. A um, couple cool little quality of life things. Wayla now works on these toroid magnets, so you can see the charge level, uh, coolant, and everything of these things. Pretty cool. Um, so we're gonna wire up this Van de Graaff generator from what we've got in here. So uh, if you remember, uh, we've got half this room wired up, and I've also been trying to figure out how to use these uh, advanced draw bridges from Tinker's Mechworks to create an elevator here, but uh, it doesn't seem to be working all that well. So if you know how I can do that uh, without having wireless redstone, because it doesn't seem to be in this pack, let me know, because uh, I'd like to know. Otherwise, this will probably just be a staircase. Okay, so we're just this is just a placeholder, remember, but we're still going to run it like this. So from the turbines over there, this power cable is going to run um, along both of the walls. Um, so that we can power both sides of the room and then uh, when we need power for the other room that's going to be over there we can just um, bust out some blocks and run it through. Um, but in this case here uh, we are going to just run this right out the wall because this is how it's going to go. I had a couple of options here. If I wanted to I could run the power cables along the ceilings but in those rooms the ceiling is not even um, well, in this room it is, so I figured the best thing to do would be to get it out of those rooms, then run it up to the ceiling, and I could run it all the way around the room. Um, so now that we are out of that room, uh, I can run it up the ceiling. I don't know if this uh, this build, this world, seems to be a, a bit laggier now. It's weird. Um, I'll try and figure out what's going on, because FPS is pretty low. Um, but I don't have time to fiddle with this day, because I'm going away later, so I have to get this done. Um, so what I've... Uh, thinking I'm going to do, because yeah, we have our Van de Graaff generators over here, there were a couple of options here. One option was just to run shafts all the way to the floor and power it like that, because these induction motors can attach to the ceiling, which would have been really nice if this Van de Graaff generator could be one block higher, but it can't. This is the block where it needs to be. Um, so instead of doing that, what I thought would be fun, because uh, we don't use them too often, I did use one in the... Um, Shadow Chapter series recently is was to use these uh, chain drives. I thought that would be, that'd be kind of fun. So what we're gonna do is I thought if I put an induction motor, oh, not two of them, just one, over here, and ran some uh, superconducting wire into it. Oh no, I can't do that. Um, the first thing you have to do is run a resistor in there to tell it how much power you want. So we get our resistor, and then we can get our induction motor. And then what we'll do is place a bevel gear here with the output side facing up and the input side facing, I got it right the first time. Actually, it doesn't work either, does it? It's up too high. Darn. So that's still one block too high to do, to do that. So instead what we'll do, I really wanted to try and use the chain drive there, but that's not going to work. So what we'll do is we'll place the bevel gear here, and this just shows you the iterative process. When you figure out that something isn't going to work, you just change it. So we've got our bevel gear attached to our Van de Graaff, and we've got our induction motor over here on top of the preheater. And because I could place the motor over here and run the wire the whole way, but there's no reason to do that. Um, rather, it'd be nice. It's better to have the the power lines running around the walls. And I'll just use shafts for this. So we're running uh, quite a bit of power through um, this shaft. Uh, but I, th I think I could get away with steel. But because we're um, maximum torque, six, seven. No, 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 we can't do that. I think we're running at 80 something. Yeah, we're running too much torque. So we got to use bedrock. Well, we don't have to use bedrock. We can use diamond. Um, so yeah, we'll grab, I'll grab some diamond. I don't need more than one in this creative mode. We'll grab a diamond shaft, and we'll just run these along. Um, now what I'm thinking I could do, it'd be nice to try and get these shafts pointed the other way. 
So what I'm going to try and do is just place some blocks up here. Because I think you can do the same thing with the shafts that I could do with this motor and place them so that they're like upside down. Yeah, like that, see? And I can place these. Come on. No, no. You go upside down. Well, that one doesn't want to go upside down because it's got the block underneath it as well. That's not a problem. Um, and we'll place these. Dang, this FPS is really low. I don't know what's going on. Um, I never used to have FPS this low in this world. So I'll have to try and fix that. I'm not sure what it could be. Because, yeah, the FPS is really, really low. So now I've got that. I can bust these out. And what we're left with is... While you're walking around the place, you've got the ability to look up and watch these uh, turning, which I think is pretty cool. So now, how does electric half work? Well, we want to put about 8 megawatts into here, which is great because it's the same amount of power that we were putting uh, into these things. So we can use the same color code on the resistor. And I'll do a tutorial series about electric half coming up soon, and you'll be able to know actually what that's all about. Um, suffice to say that if I put that same code in, we'll get the same amount of power. So it is, come on, sometimes these are a little finicky, brown, orange, come on, put the brown down, brown, orange, brown. So now from underneath, you can see that turning, which is kind of cool. And if we head up here, we can see that the lines are purple. Now I can see this, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this in the video. Because um, I, I remember that doing one of these videos, you guys, it was hard to see it in the video when it was doing. So let's take a look at the charge. I think that's enough charge. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the colors should be. They're white and purple. I think they should be. Now, black is when it doesn't have enough. And it, dark purple, I think, is when it has uh, more than enough. What we could do is put a little more power in there by adjusting this resistor, but I'll do that later. Um, so I think that's how we're going to wire up our uh, our Van Degas generators. I, I don't know. Does it look a little funny? I don't. I don't think so. I think it looks as, as cool as we could get it. Um, it's kind of neat being able. To, I, I I really wanted to try and use a chain drive, but it's on the same plane, so you can't do it. That's pretty cool. So we're going to do that all the way around once I end up getting these back rooms built for all of them. Um, I'm going to try and find some more time to work on this this next week, but everything's just been crazy. I've been getting slammed. Um, everything's out of whack and uh, feels like things are falling apart as far as scheduling goes and stuff. Because I, I can't record with Nathan, I can't record with Salenti. Salenti is going to be out of a computer for like a month, so he's not going to be around at all. I mean, next time we'll probably, um, if I find enough time, I might build this tower, uh, maybe. That's going to take a lot of time, so we'll see how that goes. But anyway, guys, um, it's going to be it's going to have to be it. It's not a lot of progress, I know, in a video, but it, it does show you how we're wiring it up. Um, and then I'll just expand that over here. But I don't have a lot of time, um, but I wanted to get something out to do with this. I think that'll be good enough. If not, we'll add some more power. But anyway, as you can see, we're looking at these torrid magnets. We now have uh, the charge. It appears to be showing me the charge value for all of the ones that are over here. Well, now, there's more than four, though. And the charge is getting kind of low by the time it gets over there. Yeah, what's it over here? So over here, the charge is around 300,000. I think it's going up. And then as it goes, it drops off. And at the end here, it's only at 29,000 volts. It's probably not enough. So we'll have to work on that. Pump more power into this uh, Van de Graaff. And then we'll have to give this thing um, a, a source of liquid nitrogen. So maybe we'll do that next time. Um, get some liquid nitrogen going. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this short video. Um, I really encourage you guys to check out the uh, video I uploaded um, yesterday. 
which is going to be coming out on Tuesdays, um, Growing Up Games, because uh, it's something that, that my brother really wanted to do, so it'd really be cool if, if you guys could um, give him some feedback about it, because uh, he's really having a lot of fun doing it. So anyway, um, so I want him to be successful. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys next time. I'm Slight Knowledge, and I'm signing out.